everyone, my name is Prabhjit Singh Bhagga and I'm a technical marketing engineer at Cisco Systems. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of how to coexist between Cisco Prime and Cisco DNS Center until you are ready to just move completely to Cisco DNS Center. Let's get started. Just to give you an overview of what the migration journey from Cisco Prime to Cisco DNS Center looks like, it's split into six easy steps. The first step is to understand the value that Cisco DNS Center will bring to your network, uh, which is far more superior than what Cisco Prime could do. The second part is uh, running a tool called PDAR tool, which is Prime to Cisco DNS Center assessment and readiness tool. This tool assesses the readiness of your network. It checks all the devices that you're running, all the use cases that you're running today on, on Cisco Prime, um, and then lets you know how it will plan out in Cisco DNS Center. And then the third part is having a conversation with uh, Cisco and verifying that the migration is going to be smooth. And this is where uh, we can decide if you would like to coexist um, between Cisco Prime and Cisco DNS Center and then later on migrate completely. For the migration, we have built a tool called PDMT tool, which is Prime to Cisco DNS Center data migration tool. This tool runs API call between Cisco Prime and Cisco DNS Center and migrates all of your sites, devices, CLI templates, configuration, ICMX from Cisco Prime to Cisco DNS Center. The fifth step is about verification to make sure everything got migrated properly. And then the last part is about adoption. This is where now all of your network is on Cisco DNS Center and you can uh, have more use cases uh, that you can do with Cisco DNS Center. Like we mentioned before, the first thing we're going to do is run the PDAR tool in your network, which is going to generate this PDF report highlighting exactly how many devices are going to be supported and unsupported in Cisco DNS Center. And this will give you a view whether you would want to coexist between Cisco Prime and Cisco DNS Center until you refresh all of your end of life, end of supported devices, and then you can migrate completely to Cisco DNS Center. Now the question comes, how do you enable coexistence? So when you're actually running the prime data migration tool, in the second step of sync settings, you're given two checkbox. The first checkbox enables um, synchronization of existing sites that you have migrated from prime to DNS center. And any modification or update that is done to those sites gets migrated automatically to Cisco DNS center. The second checkbox is for anything new that gets added to those sites, like any new device, any new building, floor that gets added, that will automatically get synced with Cisco DNS Center. Now let's get into a little more details on what is going to get automatically synced between Prime and Cisco DNS Center and what has to be a manual trigger of the migration tool uh, to sync the data between Prime to Cisco DNS Center. So these are the following things that will automatically sync between Prime and Cisco DNS Center. If there is any update of a migrated site, building, or floor, like a rename of the building name or a rename of a floor, that is going to reflect that on Cisco DNS Center. If you add or delete any site within that migrated site, it is going to reflect that on Cisco DNS Center. If you add or delete any building within the migrated site, that's going to reflect in Cisco DNS Center. Same thing with the floors. And same thing with the devices. If, if you add any device in that site or you remove any site, any devices from that site, is going to reflect that in Cisco DNS Center. Now, these following things will need a manual force sync in Prime Data Migration tool for them to reflect on Cisco DNS Center. For example, if you add a brand new site on Cisco Prime that has never been migrated before, you would have to run the migration tool. If you add an AP to a floor, that has to be done with manual force sync. Same thing with AP positioning, if you change the positioning in any way. Uh, if you add a new CLI template, that would have to be involved um, again in the force sync. And same thing with IS and CMX. When doing coexistence, to avoid any split brain issues, we're going to make sure that all of the changes are made only in Prime and not in Cisco DNS Center. If there are any changes that are made on Cisco DNS Center, um, it's going to revert back whenever you run the migration tool again. So make sure that if you want to make any changes to the migrated sites, devices, floors, um, you do that on Cisco Prime. Same thing with the wired workflow or the wireless workflow. If you want to push any configuration like SSID, CLI template, make sure we do that only on Cisco Prime while you are in this coexistence mode. 
There are a few things that can be done on Cisco DNS Center, like you can see the site's hierarchy, you can see inventory, you can see 3D maps, you can see EOX status, um, you can also see device 360, network 360, assurance of all the devices, all that can be done on Cisco DNS Center. One thing to keep in mind here is that the site that has been migrated, we should not change the name either on Cisco Prime or Cisco DNS Center. Once you have completely migrated to Cisco DNS Center, you can take advantage of all the amazing features that uh, Cisco DNS Center brings. Like you can do SD Access, you can do SD Bonjour, uh, you can do many NetOps use cases like 3D maps, you can receive security advisories, end of life uh, for devices, uh, you can also do AI Ops, uh, where you can have to do time travel, go back in time to see what uh, issues the clients and users were having. You can do AIML, uh, you can do path trace, a thousand eyes integration, packet capture. You can even do programmability with DevOps. Uh, you can integrate with Splunk, ServiceNow, um, Ansible, and all their wonderful use cases. Here are some more links to the YouTube videos that we have created for Prime to DNS Center migration. Please check them out. And if you have any questions, please reach out to us on this email address below, primednagmigration at cisco.com. This brings us to the end. I hope this was informative and happy learning.